Um, the Soap Girl, there's the last film you did, and have you had any awards for any other films? Oh, uh, yes. I did uh, one of my uh, documentary is called Haitian Slave Children. I shot two years ago, actually 100% uh, shot in the Haiti. I went to Haiti and uh, hiding the camera because they don't want to show you know, the uh, Haiti uh, uh, poverty. Right. And a um, uh, story about the Haitian slave children, around 300,000 you know, slave children on the street. And then we in interviewed them. And uh, it's very like uh, the Human Touch uh, documentary. That film, I got award, World Fest Houston, and then uh, Silver Award. Then after that, Best Documentary Award in uh, Jamaican International Film Festival. Well, that's fantastic. My first documentary, actually, I went to uh, the Haiti. Oh, to Haiti? Yeah, it's so like 100% uh, uh -huh. shooting in the Haiti about Haitian slave children. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like a heavy uh, subject. In Haiti, uh, near airport, there's like a huge uh, like a strike, like demonstrate. I notice it's all women. Don't, don't talk, we can get recording the music. Too. I was inside the van with the run and uh, you know, I see like a back and forth, it's like all the country. And there you go, there you go. The better. The suddenly, uh, I remember exactly their face. Wait, they're, 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 they're gonna beat him up and take it away from him. Wait a minute. They'll beat him. Say we'll be back in about an hour. I'll bring him some to eat. Yeah, respect. You know, most of the time I shot, uh, you know, like poor. Like it's the toilet for the whole building. Big problem is uh, the sanitation department can't get down to these areas. Is this the children's playground? Yes, this is the children's playground. It's amazing more of them don't have tetanus and other diseases, but almost all of them are hepatitis A positive. At the same time, I want to shoot the, uh, the, the casino. So absolutely, they didn't want, you know, like a you know, shoot. So I hide the camera. They, they, they search everything. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be in a big trouble right now. After you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, sure. That guy said to me, OK, just go. So he didn't check my. Uh, you know, the back. Young men sometimes have to take camera, put it to sleep, and film. Because if we get caught, we get killed. The premiere, you know, the audience told me uh, that film really scares me. So that means, you know, that guy, uh, especially remember the scene, um, you know, I shot the three. Uh, children that project actually brought me many meanings of the life and the filmmaking so many things or you know happen in around the world also so many subjects I can make and they show people African slaves in Haiti freed themselves in 1804 creating the first black free nation in the West, except for the children of the poor who still remain slaves. They are called Restavec, a disguised French word meaning staying with. This film is dedicated to the 300,000 forgotten and abandoned street children. Government shelters have been closed, forcing these children back on the streets to fend for themselves. Haitian Street Kids Incorporated rescues as many as they can, but when nurse Michael Brewer found 104-year-olds living in a drain, it was too much to bear. 
We must restore their dignity. We must rehabilitate. We must restore their security, self-reliance, and health. Or we must live in shame. Tengo, 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 tengo